but I have been sold in the brothel by the man who come, he tell me that he's my grandfather. So that is my life. I, I have been sold in the brothel, stay in the brothel nearly than 10 years. The brothel owner bring us all together. We all sit on the ground and he tell us, we have to do what he asks us to do. But one girl, so she pointed the, the, to the girl, to my friend, she refused to do what he asked to do. So he take a girl and kill her. So that is the day that I have been escaped from the brothel. So you've saved over 5,000? More than, more than, than 7,000, just than in 7, Cambodia. 000. We have also in Vietnam and Laos. So in Cambodia, I have the center that I do every day now, <laughs> go back tonight. And we provide the training to the girl, skills so or prof professional training. I just want them to be independently, like, you know, they can stand up and I have my own business now. You don't sell me anymore. You don't use my body. When I come here, I look all of you and you all inspire me. And I want them to be like you. So today, I have one of my girls going to law school. Can you talk about um, what the legal structure is in Cambodia that continues to support the brothels? The governments, they don't understand it because it's men dominations. So they are very corrupted. They are all behind the brothel owner. And the police who are corrupted, who are behind the brothel owner, so I tell you, it's not easy. It's quite different. I don't know how to explain you. My book every day risks my life. And then, like you know, my girl, my daughter, my own daughter on 1996, she was 14 years old. She had been kidnapping, sold in a brothel too. And then it's like no one care. Yeah, I mean, it's an amazing, just a horrifying story that, you know, they tried to intimidate you by taking your own daughter. Yeah, because they, they, they know that I'm not afraid of dying. For me, dying is nothing. I'm okay. My life is too much. But they threatened to my kid. So when they kidnapping my kid, that is the first time I feel that I have to stop my work. I found my kid four days later, but she had been sold already. They had been, they, they video her and they put the video everywhere else. And my kid come to me and she said, mommy, go on ahead. So. so she told you to stay with your work? Yes. So what, um, I know you have a dream, and the dream is to have a world free of slavery, free of prostitution, where there would be no more girls who didn't have a mother like you and like your girls. How do we get from where we are here to there? What has to happen for that dream to become true? First of all, I need commitments. You know, I can save thousands of girls from the brothel, but if we don't have law commitments, if we don't have political commitments, I can save 1,000, but 1,000 have been sold again. I feel hope to see all of you. But sometimes when I go back, it's nothing happened. My girl have no food. They need to feed. So sometimes it's like, I'm thinking that when I come in, I try to talk to the people and go back, nothing, nothing helps. So I hope this time that all the women around here can help me, can help me to end sex slave.